this is the post on XDA developers from uh, Hashcode. Just can just Google Kindle Fire and XDA, and they'll come up. Select this post with this ROM. It's uh, 1218 Deep Sleep Fix. Uh, he'll probably have a more current one by the time you see this. Uh, then you're on your device here. You're going to want to click on Download 4.2 ROM, and you're also going to want to download Jelly Bean 4.2 Google Apps gaps right there. So you're going to click on both of those. Here we are downloading uh, hash codes Jelly Bean 4.2 Kindle Fire right onto the Kindle Fire as you can see. This is while it is still stock. And here we're downloading Google Apps for Jelly Bean. Secondly, we're downloading it to the uh, Kindle device. It's still stock. The main thing is make sure you have system version 6.3.1 before you start. <clears throat> okay, in order to get to the Kindle Fire stuff, we're going to type in XDA Kindle Fire. It's right there. It's right. You click on that. It comes down here. You just click on this. It will take us to XDA. Right now we're going to want to click on Kindle Fire Android Development. Do that. Uh, what you're going to need is the Kindle Fire Utility 0.9.6. And click on that. I'm just going to download this to our computer. Okay. So click on this. There's a bunch of pictures of what it does. And then it says current release right here. We'll click on that. Scroll up and you gotta look at what you video tape. And here it is, it's downloading right down here, Mark. It's downloading onto my desktop. I've downloaded everything to uh, my Kindle XDA, including the uh, so I open up the Kindle XDA. Here comes this. Now I've already unzipped my Kindle Fire utility. You see the zip file there? The top file is it unzipped. Click on that. Then click on it again because it's just a folder. Now what you're going to want to do, don't actually do it, but uh, what I did before was you double click on install drivers. And that will go through a big thing. I'll try and find it. you got to allow it. Okay, okay we're going to plug the Kindle into the computer by USB and uh, we'll see if those drivers held that's usually a good sound try installing driver software it says on the Kindle it says you can now transfer files from your computer to Kindle that's a good sign Okay, the autoplay came up. I think we'll just close that. I believe the next thing we do is just click on run. We'll run it. Opening the latest files. So let's try to bring this down into the middle. Okay, what you're looking for is that ADB status online and root status, boot status 4000. Okay, and now we're going to install permanent root with super user. So we click 2 and hit enter. And here we go. The Kindle is rebooting, it's running. See the percentage going. Installing FFF, installing twerp. Please wait. Kindle Fire is now rebooting and it has the blue Kindle Fire. As you can see. Alright. There. Booting. It's still driving too. Device driver software. Okay, we've disconnected it from the computer. I, as you see, the USB, I plugged it back in because we're 
almost so. And we get this option for goal launcher or launcher. Let's hit uh let's hit goal launcher. There it goes. Oh. Hello, I am goal launcher, etc. etc. Boom, boom, boom. Updated, more convenient, this and that. What? And here you go. It looks like a normal screen. You got your screens to go through a couple of times. You gotta fix that. There you go. You can leave it just like this, or you can install a custom ROM. We're going to install the custom ROM. In the settings, we uh, turn it to allow installation of applications from unknown sources. We turn it to on. I don't know if that matters. We're still on current version 6.3.1. Okay, we're going to power it down and we're going to install our ROM. We've downloaded it as we've shown onto the Kindle. Hopefully, it'll find it. And let's see. Hold this in. I was going to say, do you want to shut? Shut down. Powering off. There you go. Now we're going to power it on. Kindle Fire. Now we want to press power button for boot menu. Uh, we're on recovery. So we hit that. Now we're booting. First thing we're going to want to do is make a backup. We hit backup. Uh, we're just going to swipe to backup. I'm just going to leave it default. Boom. And that'll take a few minutes. I'll try and time it. I'll come back afterward. There you go. It says backup completed in 113 seconds. That's about what. That's about right. And uh, back. Okay. Let's hit back. We're back to our main menu. Now we're going to want to wipe. Factory reset. Swipe to wipe. There it goes. Factory reset. And it's successful. It only took a second. Back, back, now we're going to install, oh boy, there we go, we found it in the downloads, I'll find this one. Wait to confirm flash. And now it's flashing. Okay, that took about 30 seconds. And then we're going to wipe Delvic. Wipe cache. Swipe to wipe. Alright, back. And reboots home. And then reboot and system and there you have it Let's see what happens Looks like the ROM is trying to come up okay after an extended splash screen now we got make yourself at home you can put your favorite apps here okay and here you go this looks a lot like my daughter's Nexus 7 here's your different settings now I think we have to flash Google Apps on here. There's our app tray. Okay, let's go back and flash Google Apps. Okay, here we are back in this. Install. I want to install those apps. Swipe to flash. And it's installing. Wipe cache. Back. Reboot system. Okay, here's the ROM. Uh, it's all set up. We went through the Google sign-in, etc., etc. 
nothing on the main page you got a couple of other pages you can go settings gallery whatever uh, here's your there's your play store uh, Google search Gmail all this good stuff play store and up it comes and there you go you're all set up basically you turned your Kindle into a Nexus 7 I hope you enjoyed the video and any questions just post them below thanks for watching